Hey there, good afternoon, everybody. Pastor Teresa Wetzel here with our Wednesday devotions. Uh, just for full and open transparency here, I almost forgot about this today. I came back from lunch a little bit late and started doing some other things at my desk and looked up at the clock and saw that it was 10 till and realized, oh shoot, I don't have a devotion ready to go. So <laughs> uh, I'm here, I'm a little scattered, I'm a little disorganized today, um, but I see a couple of you have joined on, so welcome. Um, we are here today, um, and I just wanna share some things that have been on my heart. Um, we are living in a crazy, crazy time right now. And uh, it, there's lots of decisions that we are being asked to make uh, individually, uh, but also as groups and as a society uh, at large uh, regarding this COVID-19 virus and, and what to do and how to react in the face of that. And, and you know, do you wear a mask? Do you not wear a mask? Do you self-isolate? Do you uh, return to normal life? Do you do you reopen the church? Do you not? Um, all of these decisions, and everybody's got an opinion. And it would be so easy if everybody agreed, but we don't. We're, we're human and we all have different perspectives and different experiences and different uh, backgrounds and different fears and concerns and different, different points of view and understanding. And so we don't always agree. And, you know, I'm getting ready for our administrative council and to meet tomorrow night. And my prayer this whole week has been just Lord guide us. Just show us the right thing to do. Just lead us in the path that you would have us go, God. And so as I was thinking about that, I, I pulled out an upper room to, uh, to find a devotion for us today. And there's one in here, it's from a few days ago actually, but it's called Moving with God. And I thought I would share this, and, and maybe some of you have read this, but uh, uh, this kind of struck with me today. The, the scripture that they recommend reading is Psalm 143, uh, just the last few verses. I'm going to read verses 7 through 11. Answer me, Lord, and quickly, my breath is fading. Don't hide your face from me, or I'll be like those going down to the pit. Tell me all about your faithful love come morning time, because I trust you. Show me the way I should go, because I offer up my life to you. Deliver me from my enemies, Lord. I seek protection from you. Teach me to do what pleases you, because you are my God. Guide me by your good spirit into good land. Make me live again, Lord, for your name's sake. Bring me out of distress because of your righteousness. Sometimes as I read the Psalms, I am uh, a little taken aback by how bold um, the writers are. And this one says it is a Psalm of David. So we, we believe that David has written this one. You know, and, and here he's not asking things of God so much as demanding things of God. Answer me and quickly. Tell me, show me, deliver me, teach me, make me. Like all of these things, these are not requests. I don't see a please in here um, other than teach me to do what pleases you. <laughs> but again, it's teach me. Um, and it reminds me that when we, when we come to God, that we can be bold. As long as, it, as long as we are trying to do God's will. We can demand that God guide us. Now, 
God is going to respond how God chooses to respond. But our boldness, our pleas, our entreaties are not distasteful to God. And that is always reassuring to me because I, I, I can be insistent. I can be demanding. Um, and I was always taught that that wasn't necessarily a good thing. But scripture show me that God can handle that for me. So the, the focus verse that they want us to look at in our devotional is teach me to do what pleases you because you are my God. Guide me by your good spirit into good land. And here is, is the devotional. Even though my husband and I have relocated 21 times, I still find change difficult. It tends to bring out all my insecurities and my worries. One move was especially hard for me. I loved the place where we lived. We were part of a great church and, and we would be leaving many friends. I worked at a large center helping women in crisis and felt that my job was also my ministry. Only later did I realize God's purpose for the move. It enabled me to work in a similar organization that was struggling, where God used my experience to help them grow. I began to look back on other moves, and I could see that God was at work in each move. Through all my family's relocations, I have learned that I can trust God to lead me in the right direction. When faced with an opportunity that requires change, we can ask God to guide us because God loves us and wants us to lead lives of significance and meaningful service. God will answer our prayers for direction, not only through scripture, but also through the wisdom of Christian friends and mentors. God's answer may not always be what we prefer to do, but we can know that following God's direction is always best. I think I needed to be reminded of that today, that, that we can trust that God is at work in this, in this worldwide change that we are going through right now, that it may feel as though evil and sickness and death are winning, but God's already won. God is leading us to new things. And we may not know what those things are yet. And that, and that unknowing may be, may be scary. Um, it may be unsettling. But we can trust in God, that God is leading us to a good place. And so, friends, it is, it is my hope, it is my prayer that as we go through these these days and these times of uncertainty, um, uh, that we remember to place our hope in the one that never changes. That we that we place our trust in our rock. Like we talked about a couple weeks ago in worship, you know, God is our rock and our fortress. God is the strength on whom we can rely. And so as we are facing these, these changes in our world and in our lives, we can be at peace because we know that even in these crazy times, God is at work doing what is good. Thanks be to God. Friends, I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, and I will be back here with devotions on Monday. And you can join us here on Sunday for worship. Remember, worship is at 930 beginning this Sunday. So we'll see you back here on this Facebook page Sunday morning. Take care and God bless.